guys, back at Alpha Land with the crew. We got JP, we got Silent Mike, we got Nico Flores, <laughs> we got Joe from Game Day. We got a whole squad today, and we're gonna hit upper body, have some fun, and get a pump. Ooh, shit, God damn. Woo. Already got a pump. Where's That's the Alpha Land pump. Sour strips. That's the sour strip right there. Oh yeah, it's the carb. Sour strip right there. It's a lemon <laughs> lemon lime flavor. Yeah. <laughs> ah! This my sponsor, Marble Brigade. They hook it up, you know. I gotta post like three times a week. It's not bad. I almost thought I double pre-workout. I was like, oh shit, did I grab another bottle of pre-workout? But it's creatine, baby, for recovery. And last but not least, some greens with some dynamine. You know what I mean? Are these supplements, yeah? Oh, we're teaching uh, Father JPG how to bench. We're gonna make him into a cheater. Give him, give him a little bit of an arch. It's gonna be crazy. The basic powerlifting bench tutorial. You ready? Yeah. All right. So, there's two main things you want to think about. One, everything comes back to your feet. So leg drive needs to be a pretty constant thing. That is what's gonna allow you to set your arch properly, right? As well as create constant tension. Then the second thing is you actually wanna think about elevating your rib cage, right? So we always talk about like retracting and depressing. I think that's kind of an overrated cue to be honest. Yeah, but instead, elevating your rib cage into the air yeah. Yes. So if you kind of combine the two concepts together, generally that's going to give you the best possible bench press for so your everything starts with anatomy. feet and then yep. and all drives through. Down to that. Cool. Uh, the usual cue that I love to give people is like if you've ever like pushed yourself backwards in an office chair, that kind of a feeling just constant. So leave the back step. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the only other the only other tip I would give you is think about bringing your chin to your chest and keeping it tucked. Because if you're if you're getting that cervical spine in that position, it's gonna be that much easier to get a good arch. you hit depth on a shoulder raise. So you go here, right? And it doesn't look like you hit depth. That's even how I do it, like this. See? It's not about how hard you work, it's how smart you work, right? We, we all heard work smarter, not harder. So that's why I go. Kind of this is how you set up for a bench. These are pound plates, you know what I mean? That's uh, legal now. Oh, yeah, you're telling me, right? They're calibrated pound plates. Calibrated pound plates. Oh, see, Bart knows That's how to good. really cheat. IPF rules. Yeah. I like this because sometimes I'll sneak around here, and if his shorts are really long, you know, you can get a little peek. Yeah, I feel great. I've been basketball like two years. You don't play basketball? Uh, oh shit! I was going to the park like uh, I was going to the park like just to get like some vitamin D and shit. Um, but then I always like want to play play and it gets me tired for like this. Fart! First one to make uh, three free throws. Free throw? Bart versus Mike. John's got a jumper, he's gonna win. John's already got a jumper. Oh, four! Oh, 
Are we playing a game for real? Let's get in line. No, three, uh, three free throws. In a row? Yeah. No, no, no. One by one. Get in line. Get behind him. I'll, I'll do rebound. <laughs> You're like, yes, basketball. John's gonna Ow, win. John already found his flow. I'm, no, I'm, I'm about a decade that. off of my flow still. And Joe's, John's already fucking in it. Nico's got no shot. Oh, oh man. What's your, what's your uh, free throw? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh look at this guy. <laughs> okay, Nadim. Like 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 oh, 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 I'm just here to have a good time, man. But I'm proud, but never satisfied. That I'm about to whoop Bart's ass. Humbly. Proud, but never satisfied. To whoop your ass. But <laughs> look at that! Look at that! Well, that look good. We gotta go bench. Stop messing around. Uh, on all that. I'll play. You gonna play yet? Yeah, hey, I gotta play. <laughs> He's just on a business call. Nah, I got, hang on. I gotta bench real big quick. Big lip, big lip. Come on, Bart. Rap PR, rap PR. What is that plate? I took it. Two plates? Play yeah. quarter? Yeah, whatever y'all want, I'll go two. Play quarter or two plates? Two? Oh. Rush hour! Oh Rush hour two! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> one more time, one more time. That's the secret rush hour play. Man, I'm not used to arching like that. I mean, I throw it back, but I don't. I don't really arch like that. I'm more like. I'm more like this kind of, you know, small motion. Yeah. So I'm gonna teach JP how to do a leg drive, and this is the proper way to do it, everybody. Show us. Two more air Yeah. Yep. So you saw how his knees were moving? Important. It's stable. Yeah. I thought you did that stable. You tap dancing on that thing? No leg drive. Leg drive. Yeah. You're a Ligma? It's right next to uh, the end, though. It's right next to the end. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Is this gym two? Gym two? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on. Just leave back there. In this gym, you can take other shorts. <laughs> that one, you can take shorts. Yeah. yeah. That's so funny. That's a rule. Yeah. High school bench, baby! 225! Ho, ho, ho! Houston weather's crazy! I know, I like it. I brought extra G this time. Oh, me too. Yeah. 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 I learned my lesson. Yeah. You wore the white one, dude. You were really trying to put on a show for the tubes, huh? Yep. <laughs> Two and a quarter. It's not me. I'm not him. No. Getting real serious. No more playing around. Quick, quick one rep banger. Nice. Game hopping on. Ah, that's a big jump. Did you even go two? Yeah. You did? Fuck my head off. Sweat. JP. Yeah. I'm not that strong yet. Sean has to fix my head. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're tired. He said he should go at least 4 or 5. No, uh, that'll do 4 or 6. What is it? 4 or 6. Four or six. Right there. Uh, I have to drop down to like 100 for the last couple of sets. So if you need to go heavier, like I'll, I'll just, I can wait. It's probably it's, it's not enough for like a whole thing. Right by 8. Go yeah. for the millions and millions of JPG heads around the world. Oh my god. Oh my there you go. I look for points. Imagine. I feel like all the points today, dude. Pretty good. good. Yeah, it's not nice. Yeah, it's like you bench pressed before. First time, first timer. Do you think if you just did chest press and never touched a bench, like could you come back and hit it like a heavy bench? We're about to find out, like right now. Yeah, fuck me out and find me around. Find out. No way. That was so quick. You had at least maybe four and a quarter in you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised with 275. No way you're not getting that. I ain't ripping nobody's peg, man. Don't put that on me. Magic hands. The evolved version of Nico Flores. We got, we got Charmander and fucking Charmeleon. Who the hell is Charizard then? That's me, dog. That's me, dog. No, that's so normal. Whenever you try to get stronger than him, he just starts. <laughs> yeah, he starts to fuck with you, bro. Bro, you you just slowly maybe show signs of getting stronger than him. That dude's throwing Vaseline on my deadlift bar. I was benching, he accidentally kicked my nuts mid rep, and he just grabbed the bar midway here trying to curl it or something. He's known. For yeah, he's known for that. It's been a long time since I've been, so PR in that sense.
How was that? Oh, good. Felt oh, nice. What are you gonna go up to? Yeah. Uh, maybe like 476. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know KG. How much should we go up to? <laughs> I need five plates. Yeah. You're done? So this is KG, so. Yeah. What is that, like 645? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. It's because he has short arms. Look how short his arms are. My arms? Three times as long as that. That's why. If I, if I had short arms like this long, I'd be banging out bench. So I just hit a 315. Uh, this, today is more of like a fun workout. I'll probably stop right there because I don't want to mess up my overall progression. Um, I think today we're going to hit like an upper body bodybuilding session. So after that, if people want to do background sets, I'm down. But mainly I'm here to kick it. And if we're not, then we're probably going to hit some machines. So when you're like on vacation or something or you want to hang out with friends that you haven't seen in a while, how do you train that you don't mess with your programming but you still are able to like have fun and be with everyone? So like if I'm like really serious on a goal like I am right now, um, nothing I hit will ever be over like a RP like seven and a half if I push it just so that I can recover. And I actually calculate the amount of days to my next session. So today is uh, Sunday and my next bench session is on Tuesday. So I'm like, okay, I could probably hit like 315 and not too much volume, and I should be good for Tuesday, and I still want to hang out with everyone. I just want to be the guy in the corner that's like, I'm stuck to my program, you know? Um, so that's how I do it. If I'm not, and I'm just like having fun, I'll literally YOLO with what everybody's doing, you know? Because ultimately, like training, hanging out, it's having a good time. So I also don't want to be that guy. But right now, I am really serious, and I'm in my on season, I would say. So uh, it's really important for me to stick to my goals and not get derailed. So when you're saying you're not that guy, you're basically saying you're not him. But uh, sometimes I am him. Like if I am preparing for a meet and like my coach is invested in me, I'm invested in myself, and my team is excited to see me hit a big number, I don't want to drop everyone's expectation by doing YOLO shit and then ruining like the next 12, 16 weeks, you know? So are you him or you're not him right now? Right now, at this specific moment, at like 12.30, I am not him. What are you doing right now? Uh, PR him. Yeah, a little PR. A little game day PR. Yeah. yeah. No way he hits yeah, it. I love him. Uh, firm grip, actually. Relax, <laughs> Brad. Come on, let's go. Nice and grip right here. Yeah. Right. How many cameras are there right now? I'm hard with those legs. Let's get it. Let's go, DP. On your count. One, two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Thanks, bro. Yeah, dude. How did it look? Good? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. Now that was some fucking leg drive. Thanks, dude. How'd that feel? Good. Good. Thanks, man. Yeah. Felt nice. Yeah. 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 Like, that's PR? I'm cramming a little bit right here. But <laughs> that, that, that's totally normal. Uh, that was a PR for you? Yeah, that was a PR. I want one nice. Of those. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've hit more than that in the gym. Sick, dude. Yeah. So you're going to switch to powerlifting now? I, I would love to try it at some point, actually, after I'm done competing. I don't so, see why not. So, in your words, yeah. this is the best way to build muscles on your chest? <laughs> in, yeah. in verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> no need and to, to do dumbbells to quote or anything. You, yeah. yeah. The bench press is optimal for chest gains? I mean, if you like it, yeah, why not? It's a range, is it not? Yeah. Yeah. It's all been that. Yeah, for a lot. Little inclined chest press, making it a little bit harder in the start, in the middle. Less so at the top. Oh, a double stack, you guys. Feels nice. Oh, I like this because, yeah, it gets a little easier at the top. Yeah. Nice. Then we can load up a little bit more weight. <laughs> if you think uh, about it, it'll get lighter. Watch, think about it. Yeah, oh. wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, we can load that up. Dude. Yeah, you, you can load that up. up. That, is, that is what I like about the prime stuff, though. I mean, you can load it where you have the best leverage and, yeah, make it look nice. Dude, you're doing this like nothing. Holy shit. I swear, it's so easy for you, though. <laughs> no way. Oh, I was like, damn. <laughs> I just like, over the floor. Are you on it? No, or bro, no, you're just weak. I didn't even fuck with you yet. Are you sure? Look, dude. Are you stepping on it? 
Punish us. So for the workout, I mean, honestly, I'm just thinking we're gonna go ahead do like an incline press, and then we'll find a short position movement, you know, something that works the chest like right through here. Uh, I don't know, maybe they have some kind of, you know, pull pack deck fly or something like that, and then we get in some uh, shoulder press maybe, and then a uh, tricep. Yeah. For chest and tricep. Super set maybe. Yeah, get a nice pump. Oh What the? Dude, Bart actually has some uh, guns on him, dude. Really? Yeah, look at him. <laughs> How do you think Bart will fare in bodybuilding? Good. Actually good, yeah. Dude, you have great genetics for it. Yeah, you have really good shape. If you train like a bodybuilder for like six months, yeah. Yeah. Six months, that's it? Six months? The hard part is the diet though. <laughs> but I mean if you're just training hard for like bodybuilding to grow, like you don't have to be that on point with the diet. Just get enough protein. Yeah. Don't eat, you know, nothing. But what about like in and out? After the show, that's the hard part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah getting like getting shredded. That's the hard nice. part. Yeah, but just putting on the muscle, you know, the hard part is the training. You're good at that. What's the uh, average body fat percentage on stage? You think? It's not where it's supposed to be. And we're talking average. Oh, you know, really? if you saw my last competition, I would say I was 80, 85 percent ready. Yeah. yeah. It was a six-week prep. Yeah. I would have wanted to be another like six pounds lighter than that. And then what were you on stage there? If I had to guess, maybe body fat wise, I, you know, sub 12 percent, like sub maybe. Maybe eight to ten. Who do you have right now? I don't know. Not that lean. Like, I hate guessing body fat just because. Maybe, maybe twelve to fifteen. Yeah, I say twelve to fifteen. Yeah. What do you think you're at? Let's see. A good twenty-eight. Probably closer to fifteen. Let's see honestly. Mm, not bad. No, not bad at all. <laughs> say around, you know, fifteen or so. He's only showing me yeah. his abs. My my abs. Smart. I'm just gonna do two working sets of this, so nothing crazy. I love the way you work out, man. Just get it done, move on to the next thing. Gotten a little bit heavier, but I know I, I totally feel like you're sandbagging that. I'm not, dude. You bench like 405 something. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look at four. Not a chance, shit, dude. Yeah, see, look at that bicep. Confirm, bodybuilders are stronger than power. Wait a minute, <laughs> hot cake. Not a hot cake. Not a hot cake. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. So, I'm gonna cut all the previous bench you footage. You got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, use your arch. Get the archer back. <laughs> No way, dude, you're totally pushing me. Go like full on, like like drive with your legs out like you do when you bench. Yeah, you didn't try to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I got the other way. You're kidding! You're killing me! You're embarrassing me, bro. You're fucking lying! Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying! Alright, Mike, Mike. I don't believe you! Mike's, Mike, Mike's gonna bang us out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mike's in Benedict, though. I haven't pressed in six months! Shut up. Oh, yeah, no, don't look at me when you're doing this, this bro. Bro. You're staring me in the face while he's doing this. Not even failure, dude. You're just like fucking around. Yeah. Let's go. Focus, come on. Keep sucking. Easy, 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 easy. Focus, focus. Go ahead. Come on. Come on, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Creatine nice. check. Creatine check. check. One more, one more. One more, one more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. You got it. That was a good push, though. That was really Woo. good push. Nice, dude. That was fun. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> These guys are all just playing around, not getting after. I'm like literally the only person working on here. Everyone here is taking pictures, having a good old time. And I'm the only one like, look at this. No one's even using the 35s. And I use the 35s. Good job. 
Okay. Uh, I would love to hit some kind of like chest fly or like a peck back or any kind of movement to get a nice squeeze. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, step, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rust the step, bro. Rust the step. Damn, looking fresh, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What exercise is that? What is that, Bart? So uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial on this one later. <laughs> All right. So I found literally the best machine in this whole gym. Okay. You can literally train everything. Got some triceps, right? Boom. Boom. Right after. Move right to the lats, right? Boom. Boom. Like that. The biceps. Boom. 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 Like this. Up the back. Like that. Like that, right? Boom, 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 like that. And then, even some deadlifts. Like that, right? Yes, boy. Yes. Right? Yes, boy. Dude, don't tell anybody, but this free motion machine right here, hit me up. Use code BART, get 30% off. Oh, I saw this on your channel. Oh, okay. Got me? Yeah. Give me a, give me a breakdown of that. Huh? Give me a breakdown of that. So essentially, instead of doing your regular pec fly, like your pec deck fly, being up here with it, you can't get quite as far back. Limited range of motion, a little bit more on the uh, pec tendon on the biceps. So instead, bring it down a bit. Bigger stretch, load more weight, and then you're coming into it like a press versus just through here with it. So, yeah, almost like a pec deck press. I'm trying to squat out here with Barbara. He's trying to ditch me. He's ditching me for the Harris. Are you even working out? No. I, uh, I'm here for like emotional support. Like, you've seen 300. And there's that one dude who talks, and there's 299 other dudes who don't talk. I'm the one dude who talks, and the other motherfuckers out there with the spears. These are my spears. Since the day is the day when no one shall stop us, and muscles will be grown in a hypertrophic manner. Whoosh! 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 He's seen 300. I don't know who that kid was. <laughs> Workout's pretty good. Um, Don't lie. It, I thought it was pretty good. Okay. I was training. You were talking. I was playing basketball. Look at this. Look. See? Hey, look at this. Something's moving. Dude, <laughs> that's a big one down there. He just grabbed it. <laughs> he just... I was playing defense. Hey, he's playing defense. No, my hand was right here, and then turn to your left. And we're like, whoa! And I like that. <laughs> we're playing defense. No, the workout was really good. We hit bench, and then we hit all kinds of bodybuilding, try to all kinds of dope machines that they have here. We don't have barbell, so it's always cool to move in those angles. And it's also amazing to see how strong JP is. Cause like, he does mainly bodybuilding, right? And he doesn't do our sport, which is very specific squat bench deadlift. But when you see him get on the machines with the same muscle groups, chest, delts, tries, you're like, pow, 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 pow. And like, damn, that's badass. So we end up hitting a pump all over the place. Um, Cause it's a fun day for me. So I hit some traps, shoulders, those, and then lats, what about you? I did nothing but bench. But on the same note, I think it's cool that back in the day, I don't know if it was fake or not, but like there was always like a weird hate between bodybuilders and powerlifters and weightlifters and crossfitters and everyone's like trying to ego each other like, oh yeah, man, what? They just eat lettuce all day and do flies? Like, yeah. oh, they're just fat and just deadlift? Yep. But like you get to the top of anything, like JP is one of the best content creators, one of the best coaches, an insane bodybuilder. And like he's revving up the other guys, Nico and them, how mm. strong they are. Uh, and it's just a more mutual respect trying to learn from each other. And even if we're not trying to learn, just having fun together. Yeah, uh, and, and I think that's so much more important. It, it, it's about the culture. It's about the community. Um, and so a good day. I didn't train that much, but play a little basketball, a little chesty, and that's it. Yeah, it was cool to see uh, JP, who's a high-level bodybuilding coach, right? Like him, like walk through Joe from like to do like pecs, how to activate it, you know, activate your shoulders from like the perfect angle. And then it's cool to see Joe help JP and walk him through how to properly bench, make sure you get leg drive, you know, glutes touching the uh, the bench, 
unracking, have like a stable arms and everything. And it was just cool to see people kind of like trade knowledge like that. What was cool about me? It was cool that I grabbed Mike's big old dong. That was pretty cool. So we got Toronto over there. He's training a barbell all the time. He can do like eight backflips in a row, a triple hammer camel. Yeah, and then he backstabbed us after he did the backflips. <laughs> so it's cool that he's uh, all the way over here now. Um, so you're welcome, Christian. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's dope seeing everyone just come and kick it. You know, people even that were at Corrupted uh, yeah. came down and just hang out. So it's just cool that everyone, for the love of fitness, for the love of training, everyone's coming together just to get after it. It's crazy how many young folks are in here. Oh, yeah. I, it reminds me, like, I used to train by a commercial gym back in the day near a couple high schools, and around 3 o'clock, there'd be, like, a group of, like, four of them, and that's it. Yeah. But, like, here, and maybe it's just because I'm old, they look younger, but they're, they're definitely, like, in their early, early 20s. It's the whole gym. And they're being and, productive with their day. No, everyone's getting after it rather yeah. than like, yeah, not to hate on video games, but just playing video games or just drinking or getting into trouble. They're out here like getting after it. It's dope on a Sunday. 